Here we have solving a system of linear equations of the form y equals mx plus b. So it says solve the systems of equations. Now you do not have to graph them in order to see um, the solution. You can solve them algebraically. So we have to use some logic here. If they're telling me that y equals this expression, and then down here they're saying y equals this expression, this is the same number or the same variable, y. So if y is equaling these two different expressions, that can only mean logically that the first expression has to be equivalent to the second expression because y equals y, right? y is the same as y. So then if I solve this system or this equation here, I get negative 5x and then if I minus 55 on the other side, I get negative 40 and divide by negative five, I get the x equals eight. But we know that when you're trying to solve a system, it's going to be points, right? So that means we have an x coordinate, we need to find the y coordinate, okay? And so to do that, you could plug eight into either one of these equations and you will come up with the y. Three times eight is 24, and 24 plus 55 is 79. Or 8 times 8 is 64, and then 64 plus 15 is also 79. So the answer here would be 8, 79. The x coordinate, comma, the y coordinate. That is the point at which these two graphs intersect. And I can find it out algebraically without having to actually graph them. And you wouldn't need, you wouldn't be able to do that because you would have to go all the way up to 79 in order to see where it graphs. Where it, where it intersects, right? So having another method is definitely useful.